Hello everyone, welcome to the J the Awesome Podcast. I am your host, your prime time champion, Jay, and I am here bringing you a list of my top 20 current favorite wrestlers. Now, keep in mind, this list has no particular order. This was just 20 people I could think of off the top of my head. And no tag team, so just individual people. So with those rules out the way, let's get into the list. Number 20 goes to very nice, very evil Danhausen. I really like his work right now. He reminds well, someone said on Twitter that he is Draken from Kim Possible, and I think that is a very good comparison. I like his work for AEW, and at AEW, I do like what he's doing. They, I personally think he should, you know, get his character fleshed out a little more, so people who have no idea who is Dan Housen know who he is. So, number 20, Dan Housen. Number 19, someone affiliated somewhat with Dan Housen is Orange Cassidy. I am someone who loves all types of wrestling. I love serious wrestling, I love technical wrestling, I love comedy matches, I love everything in wrestling. So, having Orange Cassidy, having Dan Housen, having a Santino, having an archery, those are some great things you need in wrestling. So, Orange Cassidy, I only knew him from AEW at first. Definitely blew me away. And now he's one of my favorites. He definitely should win a championship in AEW. Maybe not the world title, but definitely a championship in general. Hopefully the TNT championship eventually. So yeah, Dan Housen is on that list. And Orange Cassidy. Next one on my list is Brock Lesnar. Now, I'm someone who never hated Brock Lesnar, even when he had the Universal Championship and just seemed like very offended it. But like, from then, it did like somewhat help him and hinder it because it made him an attraction. Like, he's not that offended, but when he is there, you're glued to your TV seeing what Brock is going to do. And now that he just lost a few to Roman, I think he's go kind of someone else that's not Roman and someone who hasn't seen the face off with in a while. So, yeah, Brock Lesnar on my list. And since I just said it, next one on my list is the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. I do like that he's winning all the main championships in WWE. He I've been killing it as a heel, and I do think this should continue, even with the Bloodline, and hopefully the Usos win those belts from RK Bro, and they all have the gold. So, I do need to do even though they do have all the gold. So, the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, doing a good job. Also, Paul Hyman is there. So. Next one on my list is Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. Definitely a star in AEW, or a star in anywhere he goes, if he does stay in AEW. I do love his program he's doing right now at War, though. It's really good. I was like a little side story with Sean Dean that he'd never beat Sean Dean. Now, that's so small, but it's so great. He's the greatest heel we have right now in wrestling. I do 100% believe that, and he will, he probably gonna win both single belts, but he definitely will go for the AEW Championship first, and yeah, MJF is on my list. Next up, a little controversial right now, but people really do not like him and his girlfriend, but I am going with Sammy Guevara. I've been with him since I first seen him on AEW Dynamite, and only has increased since I've watched him on his vlogs and that really like it helps me as a fan like get invested in people. Got me more invested with 
Chin, Alan Angels, Aaron Solo, Suave Del Sol. Because everyone on the vlog is someone like more active and more like interesting wrestling mind. So, Sammy, Sammy, you're on my list. He's not the only Sammy on my list, because also on the list is Sammy Zayn. Greatest baby face NXT. Like, one of the greatest baby face NXT, I will say. But him and Gargano are up there. Great baby face NXT. Main roster run is a little wishy washy, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he has a great time. And he is very entertaining. And uh, he's probably not in the World Cup picture that much. And he can wrestle his heart, though. But right now, he's still entertaining, even not being in that World Picture scene. So, Sammy Zayn, he's among the favorites. He's on the list. Next one up, I did say, was up there with top baby faces, Johnny Gargano. He, not ridiculous, but he did do NXT. And I, he has been one of the best guys in NXT history, I will say that. His matches with Adam Cole, Tommaso Ciampa, Andrade Cien Almas, Bronson Reed, everyone Gargano had a match with. It has been great. He is Johnny Wrestling, I do love it. And wherever he goes, whether it's Impact, AEW, back to WWE, anything, wherever he goes, he will be a star. He definitely will be a star. I think Johnny Gargano is on my list as my favorite. Next up, because I'm going to keep the trend going, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. I've only seen him in NXT at first. I haven't liked him ever. He's a over not say overweight, overweight guy. He's not your typical wrestler. And he stood out. He's not like Finn Balor, Tony Meese Rip. That's not a shot at him, but I'm just saying. He doesn't look like a typical wrestler and that got me like invested more in Kevin Owens. And I have always a fan of him. So Kevin Owens on my list. And our guy who doesn't look like a typical wrestler is The Mac or Willie Mac. I've noticed him since Lucha Underground, and I loved him in the ring. He's a big guy. He's black, so you know, representation that always matters. Big guy who can fly around the ring. And that does like come inspire me to you know, do things like that. So Willie Mac is on the list. Same boat, Keith Lee. Just copy and paste what I said. Big guy, can fly around the ring, he can fly. Both of them are absolutely amazing. I'm really glad that he's in AEW. So I hope he gets his time to shine, because on the main roster, he did not. So, yeah. Someone on the list is Taya Valkyrie. One of the greatest knockout champions in Impact history, I would say. I love Ty Valkyrie. Beautiful. Great in the ring. She can go hard for me. Ty is absolutely amazing. Her NXT run was god awful. Frankie Monet sucks. Ty Valkyrie, though, is great. And keeping the Impact train going, we have Diana Perrazzo. I was not really paying attention to her in her WWE run, but the second, literally the second she debuted at Impact and put Gr Jordan Grace in the Fujiwara armbar. God dang it, I got stuck in this. The second she put Jordan Grace in the Fujiwara armbar, I was invested and I wanted her to win the belt. And I kept track of her Impact career ever since. She won the, the Queen of the Ring. She won the Aqua Championship. He has had the was the Triple A Championship and the ROH Championship, and she's the champ champ. So yeah, I am very intrigued on Diana Parada, and I do think she's one of the best Impact Women's Wrestlers. Uh, Impact Wrestlers in general, I would say. And keeping the train going on women, we have Bianca Belair, the EST of WWE. And her run has been a little washy, wishy washy. Little things have been good, some things have been bad. But for, for right now, she's NXT. She is 
Raw Women's Champion. I am completely happy for her. The hate she gets is terrible. If you hate Bianca Belair, you suck. But I do love Bianca Belair and what she's doing right now. So Bianca Belair is on my list of favorites. Next one on the list is Matt Cardona. I like him since his WWE run. Right I was paying attention like after, like after his um Island story. So like I didn't have like that effect until after I seen what he can do. And now the Indies, he is killing it. He what does he have like eight championships now with the belt collector he's doing. He is doing amazing. Also with Chelsea, with Brian Myers, everyone with the major Bros podcast. That is amazing. I love what Matt Cardona is doing. Sincerely, he is doing great. Next one up is another great babyface, Hangman Adam Page, the AEW champion right now. And the ride to get to the AEW championship was was pretty good. Starting, you can even say starting from the first conference of AEW when that started. He had been the babyface of AEW. They should flesh out his uh, relationship more with the Dark Order. Like, I do see people uh, reacting to that. They mainly got a lot of that stuff from being the elite. So they definitely should like flesh that out more. But Hangman has been a great babyface. People have been like hating on his title reign so far. The title reign has been great. Like maybe he hasn't been like forefront of AEW itself, but his title reign itself has been great. His match with Lance Archer, his match with Adam Cole, Kenny, Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson, whatever you call him. His title reign has been great. So Hangman Adam Page is on my list for favorites. And Another one we have, yeah, I just said it, Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole, he has been, he has caught my eye since, what, Ring of Honor? I've been, like, focusing on him. Had a great NXT run and an AEW run. He is good, like, people have been hanging on that as well. But his AEW run, it's fine. He hasn't won, like, jump shot to the championship. Like, won it, like, even NXT, but that doesn't mean his career has sucked. His career right now is going swimming. It's going great. And I do think Adam Cole is one of the best right now. So Adam Cole is on my list. Next one up is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Now, weird thing that I never hated Cody. When he was in WWE, when he in the Indies, when you the AEW, even the last AEW run, and that's back in WWE. I never hated Cody. The hate came out of nowhere. I did, I did kind of like how they were treating it and not turning heel. Like, heel Cody, you're, you're, you're probably gonna get it eventually. Like, he can do a heel easy, but in a like baby, a not just baby face, I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of good. He's great in the ring, he definitely will win an overall title. He could be a good person to throw Roman. Especially right now. He could definitely be throwing Roman. The Cody Rose is on the list. Another person on the list is John Moxley. I liked him since he was in the Shield and his run in every week was okay. He definitely could have done more and he knew he could have done more. That's why he left. And now he's in AEW, he won a world he, Yeah, he did win a world title, I'll say. He did win a world title. He's winning titles. A couple of other ones, I think he's in GCW. He just faced Osprey in New Japan. So he does love that he has his freedom to wrestle anywhere, rather than just WWE staying there. So, I am watching Moxley every time. And I do like the thing he's doing with Regal, William Yuta. I don't say that right, but William Yuta and Brian Danielson. I do like that little faction they're going on right now. So, John Moxley is on my list. I forgot, I forgot number one. Of course I forgot number one. All right, uh, hi, Editor Jay here. This is, I'm in 2020, and I forgot a number one. So, 
I'm just gonna start with a cop one answer. Number one answer, Randy Orton. Randy Orton, number one, current fans wrestler. Love the stuff he's doing with RK Bro. I love the reception he's getting. The RKO itself, an absolutely amazing move. I don't really know what I'm saying. It's Randy Orton. Everyone loves Randy Orton right now. So, Randy Orton is number one. Now, let's get back to the video. And that about does it. Those are 20 wrestlers that are my current favorites. And, I know, probably I missed a bunch of wrestlers. I know I did. So, if I missed any, tell me in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching the podcast.